As per my attempt to watch every Oscar Best Picture winner, I of course watched the 1938 film You Can't Take It With You. This won the Best Picture and it also won the Academy Award for Best Director for Frank Capra. And having now seen this, I have concluded that it is basically a film of three thirds. I'm not going to spoil anything and I will just say that I recommend it. I think the bits that are good are really great, really entertaining and a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the bits that are not that great are just really dull. There's nothing wrong with them in terms of the acting, the directing, the dialogue. It's all fine. It's just the narrative lags a bit here and there and it's just not very captivating. But the the bits that are good are so great that it's absolutely worth watching. So this film is about two families, one who are kind of working class, the other family are very middle middle class and their children fall in love and it's about the meeting of these two families, these two different classes and how they clash but also the families themselves, particularly the Sycamores. Um, We also have the Kirby family and Martin Vanderhoff who is brilliant and Poppins as well. There are some weird characters who live in the main household of the working class family. They basically take in people who need somewhere to stay and it's lovely and it's like this big extended family and it gets a bit crazy and chaotic because there's a workshop downstairs, they're making fireworks, Um, Poppins is making toys and masks and things. Poppins is played by Donald Meek and he's a brilliant character. Absolutely love him. So it's a lot of fun. You know, the comedy comes from their kind of mischievous, almost juvenile approach to life. And it's really refreshing. But then we, we meet the rich family who are often referred to as being snobs and really snobbish. And we see a very stark contrast. And certainly you can look at this as a study of you know, class division or just, I guess, compassionate versus snobbish as well but ultimately it's an entertaining film however as I said it is a film of three thirds and I found for the most part that the the first third was slow it was slow to get anywhere it was kind of slow to get to the point I didn't really to be honest I'd read the description of what it was about beforehand, just so I had a general idea. And during the first third, I was actually thinking, this isn't what this film is about. Because it was just so... It it took a while to get going. The middle third is brilliant and absolutely fantastic. It's great fun. We really get to know characters and what they're like. There are a lot of really funny, random little lines and quirks and things that I really loved. It's also in that middle third that we get the the meeting of the two families, which, as I said, it takes a while to get there. But that's brilliant. There are so many great moments in that scene. And it's a lot of fun. And then the final third, without spoiling anything, still remains a comedy, but I find that it takes a slightly more serious shift, which I guess it needed to to make it something just that little bit more important than just a barrel of laughs. It gives it that little bit of an edge. And I liked that. I would have liked the final third to be a a little bit funnier, but by no means was it dull. But there were moments peppered throughout, apart from the middle third, where it kind of ebbed and flowed. But I think that middle third is exactly why it won the Oscar. I could be wrong. Maybe it won the Oscar because the third third was you know poignant and worthwhile I don't know but it's worth persevering past that first bit to actually get to the point because it's it's great fun the acting is great you know we have Gene Arthur Lionel Barrymore James Stewart really brilliant actors in this and of, of course um, Donald Meek as Poppins who's just brilliant I can see why it won the Oscar it was up against a few successful films, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Pygmalion, um, Alexander's Ragtime Band. I think it's a worthy winner, worthy winner nevertheless. 
it's it's a lot of fun. Definitely give it a go if you are interested in that kind of film or if you're planning on watching every best picture, I'd say this is a very good one to start with. It's good fun. Not the best film I've ever seen, but I would say it's a worthy winner. <laughs>